Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this lecture, we'll solve another problem based on connecting bodies. So, this is the question. So, we have block P which is weighing 5 kgs and we have block Q here which is of m kgs and these are suspended by cords. So, this is P, this is Q and they are suspended by these cords which is in equilibrium and they are in equilibrium and we have to find, we have to find the to uh, tension in the cords. So, we have to find the tension in the cords here. So, let us move on to the solving part. So, this is our figure and first of all, we will find this angle here which is given by 4 by 3. So, it will be tan theta equals 4 by 3. So, theta would be tan inverse 4 by 3 which which 53.13. So, I have this angle to be 53.13. Before we start solving for Q, because we have to find the weight of Q which is m kgs as given in the question. So, before we find Q, what we need to find is, what we need to do is we need to solve all the tension first. So, if I have to find Q, I have this point where these records are being connected at one place at point C. And here we have point B where all other strings are connected. So, let us draw a free body diagram here first. What we will do? We will isolate this portion and we will isolate this portion separately. We will draw that separately and then analyze what we have to do to find Q. So, first I will draw for point B here. So, I have this is my point B. So, this cords are in tension. So, I have this string which is A, I have this string which is B C and I will have this as P. So, my P was 5 kg, so it is 5 into 9.81 Newtons this would be tension in chord B C. So, it would be T B C and this would be tension in chord A B. So, this is T A B. This angle we found out to be 53.13 degrees. Okay. So, this is the free body diagram here. We will find the angles later and now for point C. So, this is my point C. So, I have one chord here B C which is the same chord as that of T B C. So, here we will have the same chord which is T B C or from here if you see it is T C B, but they will have the same value. And next I have this chord that is C D. So, I have this chord that is T C D which is at 70 degree given and I have Q which is given to be m kgs. So, it would be m into 9.81 Newtons. So, I have these free body diagrams. Now, to find Q, if you see in this figure, I have all three of, three of the forces to be unknown. So, we cannot practically calculate this Q directly. But here if we come, I know the value of P, P. So, if I know the value of P, I have these two forces unknown. So, I can already find these two by equilibrium equations because due to the equilibrium condition, I know my f of x and f of y is 0 because they are in concurrent system. So, either you can find by that or these are three forces, three concurrent forces, three concurrent coplanar forces. You can also apply Lamy's and find these two forces. If I find these two forces, this is the common force here. 
then I will have one known value for this figure. If I know one value, I can find the other two. So, that is how we can move on to finding the value of Q. So, we will start from here. So, if I start from this side, first I need to find the angles. So, this is 53.13, this angle here, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree and here this value was given to be 30 degrees in the question, in the diagram. So, this is 30 degree given and if I calculate this, this is 90, 53.13, this is 30 and 90, so this would be 96.86. So, I have all the angles now, I will draw the arrows here. Now, I have the complete free body diagram, so we can move on to solve the equation here. So, I will solve it by Lamy's theorem, you can solve it by any f of x and f of y manner also. So, by Lamy's theorem, what do I have? I know this value, so I will consider that first. So, it is P upon force, which is proportional to the sign of angle between other two forces. So, P and the other two forces are TBC and TAB and the angle between the other two forces is this. So, it would be P proportional to sine of 96.86, P proportional to sine of 96.86 equals TAB proportional to sine of angle between other two forces. So, this is, these are other two forces and the angle between them is 90 plus 30. So, that is 90 and 30 sine of 120. Next is I have TAB, so T, sorry this was TAB and this is TBC, so that if this is TBC the other two forces are P and TAB and the angle between them here is sine of, so 90 and 53, so it is 143.13. So, if I consider this two here, so if I have to find T A B, it would become P into sin 120 upon sin 96.86. As we know the value of P is 5 into 9.81 into sin 120 upon sin 96.86, if you calculate this, you would get TAB to be 42.78 Newton. So, I have the value of TAB now. Now, if I consider this and this part, I would get, I would get TBC because that is the unknown. So, TBC would be equal to P into sin 143.13. So, P into sin 143.13 upon sin 96.86. P being 5 into 9.81 sin 143.13 upon sin 96.86. If you calculate this TBC, you would get 27.72 Newtons as the tension in TBC here. So, now I have the value of TBC, which is the, com which is the common tension chord here with this part. So, now let us move on to solving this part because I have one value known now. So, by Lamy's theorem here also if I calculate by Lamy's theorem, I 
T B C is unknown, so T C B is unknown divided by it will be the angle opposite to the other two forces. But before that, we should find the angles. So here, this value is 70 degrees. This is 70, this is 90, and this is 90. So this value here is 70, so this would be 20, and this is 90, so the whole angle would become 110 degrees. Now here I have the value to be 70 degrees, and this angle here is 30. So, this angle here will also be 30 degree and now if this is 30, this would be 60. So, now I have all the angles. So, TBC would, uh, TBC would be proportional to the angle between, sign of angle between other two forces. So, this is my TCB angle between the other two forces. So, this and this are the other two forces and the angle between them is the whole angle here, correct? So this is 90 plus 70 that is sine of 160. Next is this, uh, let us consider Q. So Q is m into 9.81 and the angle between other two forces is, this is another force and this is another force. So angle between them is this part. It is 110 plus 30, so it is sine of 140 equals, I have TCD upon the angle between other two forces. So this and these are the other two forces, so it would become sine 60. Now let us consider this part and let us solve for Q. So, I, if I have to find Q, it is TCB into sin 140 upon sin 160. So, Q is m into 9.81, 9.81 equals TBC we got it from here. So, it is 27.72 Newtons into sin 140 upon sin 160. So, it is m equals, if I shift my 9.81 and you calculate further, you would get this to be 5.31 Newton. This is my value of m that is q. So, now or you can say this is q is 5.31. So now, if I calculate for the third value that is CD, I have to consider this and this. So my TCD similarly would become 27.72, that is the value for TCB into sin 60 upon sin 160. So my TCD, if I calculate, it would be 70.18. Newton. So that is how we solve the problem something like this. So hope you understood. Thank you.